All right, you guys are about to see the sickest fingerboard park you've ever seen in your entire life. Right now, let's go. Alright guys, so this is the Undialed Fingerboard Park. If you guys haven't seen us go and like building this thing, we have a whole video basically showing how we constructed this entire skate park. We basically took a normal kitchen table and poured some concrete onto it and then like arranged it, put some cinder blocks down, put some marble down, put all sorts of cool stuff down and then like bam, here's the Fingerboard Park. I'm not really going to talk about it that much because you can watch the full video when we make it right here. Today I'm going to be talking mostly about the artwork on this table because if you are a loyal and dialed subscriber, you know that this is all new and you're probably thinking to yourself like, what the heck happened? Blah. You guys might have seen my Instagram when I posted a picture of a pink and blue scooter deck sitting right on top of here with some beautiful shirts. The shirts are still for sale. They are Scooter Farm slash Undialed six shirts so you can go buy these. They're $25 on the website. We still have a few more windbreakers left, so you can go pick those ones up as well. As well as some XL lit shirts. That's all the sizes we have left. All the other ones sold out. I'm sorry, guys. But we have all sizes in the Undialed slash Scooter Farm shirt. So these are super dope. I'm I'm beyond stoked to, to have these come out. The farm was my first sponsor, so it's sick to have like a combination shirt and these are going to be super limited so get them while you can they're easter themed see the big egg on the back they're tight chicks dig scooters honk hedra i'm hot for scooters baby yeah see if you wear this shirt you're going to be drenched in sweat because you're going to be riding so hard all right guys so let's talk about the skate park a little bit i feel like that was the point of the video so i'm not going to just click bait you let's talk about this me and this kid staying at our house right now named Corey Griff. Get over here, Corey. He's in the love shack. He's like, I'm not moving, bro. Check it out. Well, he's like, nah. All right, so Corey is off napping right now. But anyway, me and him mostly drew the entire park with the help of Clayton, Scooter Brad, Kendra, uh, Turtney. Um, yeah, we, we basically spent about, I would say in total, like, like 20 hours drawing this table. Literally, we painted the entire table, besides from these like bottom steps which are like removable, which are, which are kind of sick. Besides from the bottom steps that I spray painted, we used literally just paint markers, like just, just paint markers for the entire thing. Like it was the slowest process. We would just like do a little section every single day and then bam, turned out like this. Like I'm, I'm beyond stoked of how it looks. I think it's probably the sickest fingerboard park I've ever seen. And the best part about it is this is in my kitchen. So if you are a, actual friend of mine come by and let's sesh this table because it's super good i don't know i've always been so into like sticker bombs and so into like doing like crazy stuff with colors and shapes and everything and really that's what this table is is it's just like a giant art project that me and a whole bunch of friends did so like it, it's just so cool and you can like look at little bits of it and there's just like so much like little details and cool stuff like there's just so much effort put into it and like I don't know, I'm just beyond stoked that it turned out the way it did. Like, I couldn't have asked for a sicker table. Alright, so I'm gonna go through right now and kind of talk about, like, my favorite parts of the skate park and, I don't know, just, like, cool little drawings here and there. So, basically, the first part of drawing the skate park was this, like, pink and blue swirly thing. I kind of just doodled this one day and then it slowly turned into these green and black triangle things and then from there it turned into this bird whose wing is melting into this pink thing and then turned into all these crazy like lines and then from there people started drawing on the bottom of the tables and then bam here it is like it's just I don't know it's just it's so fun it's like the ultimate doodle table it's so cool so if you guys haven't seen the skate park before the skate park's pretty simple honestly we have like a a pretty cool box jump right here on the front of it it says welcome to the undialed house which I think is super cool and then on top it says do not snake if you guys have seen our shirts from our england tour we had some japanese print on it and the japanese print said do not snake which was pretty cool i have some big news with yellowwood coming up so keep your eyes and ears peeled for that because it's going to be sick so that's why there's yellowwood stuff all over it there's a big fingerboarding prohibited sticker right here because in reality fingerboarding is not allowed that's why there's no fingerboards on the table right now there's it's just it's not it's not allowed it's not allowed at all Right here we have In-N-Out Mountain. Um, it's basically like a 
like a mountain, but also says like in and out and has like the in and out logo in it. And then right here we have all just these like different stripes going through. One of the markers started bleeding a little bit, like it started over inking, so it was just like spewing out paint and like it kind of like it kind of drizzled in areas I didn't want it. So I, I fixed it by just like filling in the gaps and kind of making it like all little connected around and like doing a little bit more in areas. So that looks cool. Right here, it's literally a trace of my exact hand. And then I just put like dots in it. I don't know. I'd, just doodling, just doodling everywhere. We have like all of Corey's mural. Basically, Corey did like this whole section right here and he did such a good job with it. Like, y'all need to go follow him on Instagram. I'm going to have a shower. What does that mean? Something that you fellow scooter riders can relate with very hard is that we get called snakes all the time. So why not just put a giant snake through the entire skate park? Like, like I don't know. It's just this giant white snake. I just wanted at least one bigger picture on it. And I think it looks cool running through like all the different areas of the park and then like down the roll and everything. And then like the tail of it that's on the wood part of the table is like a 3M reflective material. So like the tail glows and I also put it in the eyes as well. So the eyes like shine if there's a flash on it, which looks super dope. All right, so continuing with the skate park tour, we got uh, this like nice ledge slash down hubba right here. This is like granite material. I don't know, it feels so good. Like when you slide on it, it just is like makes the perfect noise. Um, right here we have a four block. The, the last stairs, you can like take them out because they didn't really settle on the table very well. So that's why they're painted. I don't know, I broke it apart and I thought it would look sick if it was like three different colors. And then down here is part of it as well. Like I can pull this out. Also going around, we have this another really nice marble ledge right here. If you look at it, it when we were setting in the concrete, it got a little bit messed up. So like. It's really flat and then it goes out a little bit, but I don't know, I think it feels like really good. Like I, I don't really notice a problem with it at all. And then up here, you're probably thinking to yourself like, oh, that's so rough, you can't grind that. But there's actually some marks on it and it, it's so smooth to grind through, like it, it doesn't hang up. I sanded it a lot, so it's it's not it's not rough at all. Like it's very smooth. The, the whole skate park is actually very, very smooth. Like it's a little bit, it, it's a little bit like, like this because I don't know we didn't we didn't make the concrete like perfectly flat. It's definitely very smooth. I feel like the only areas that are kind of rough is like right along here, but like you're gonna ollie for the ledge like right here anyway. So like you're not even gonna be riding here that much. Going around to the front of the skate park or the back of the skate park. I don't know if there's a front or a back. Basically right here we have a little like euro gap slash roll in right here. And that sets you up in a line to hit the stair set as well. Something else that's kind of cool about this park is I had this hubba right here. I actually made this hubba when I was probably like 12 years old or maybe even 11. Like I was really young when I made this. And me and my dad just made it in my garage when I used to live in Colorado. So then I thought like why not take a piece of like my old fingerboarding past and like and lay it into the skate park. So it's concreted in there like you can't take it out. Like it's it's for sure stuck. Right here we have a super super rough quarter pipe. This is probably the jankiest thing in the entire skate park, but it feels kind of cool. Like it feels like a do-it-yourself quarter pipe or I don't know. It just feels super rough and gritty. I, it, it just feels authentic. Like I, it just is kind of rough. And then up at the top, we have, there's a little bit of metal coping. Then there's this long ledge that runs, runs all the way. This is metal right here. Like, no, you can't hear it. Still sounds like concrete, but I swear that it's metal. Oh yeah, we spray painted this as well. This thing, when we were painting it, it just kind of came out. So then I spray painted it and then super glued it back in and it's solid, it, it won't come out at all. It's actually kind of funny, like if you look at this, you won't even notice, but this is real Lego right here. Like, like this is real Lego. Like you can see the concrete kind of coming through. And I thought that'd be kind of cool when, you, when you're like looking at it and you notice like, wait, wait a second, is that, is that Lego? As kids, we always used like Legos as like building materials for whatever creations we would do. So I thought it was kind of cool to have like in the concrete park, have some like Lego sections. But yeah, that's basically the skate park. I love it, it's so good. I feel like the only thing I could really change about it is if we raised up the table a little bit, but then it'd be kind of awkward when you're sitting at it with chairs. It's just, overall, I love this. I love the skate park. If you wanna buy it and you live in the San Diego area, we're up to offers. So shoot us a email, shoot us a DM, say like, I wanna buy the fingerboard table because it's for sure for sale if you wanna pick it up. But we're gonna do some clips right now. We're gonna do some sick, fingerboard maneuvers, and hope you enjoy Tree it. Time. Tree
Hope you guys enjoyed those two clips. Hope you guys enjoy this fingerboard park. If you are like a personal friend of mine and you fingerboard, come by, come sesh this sick skate park. You're, you'll absolutely love it. Like, I'm not trying to just hype this place up. Like, it's actually really tight. And it's all made with by hand by the people in this house. So, it's no, no buying stuff here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to go to undialed.co, pick yourself up a shirt. Um, they're very limited, so don't miss out. That's, that's what you gotta do. Also, until Easter, we are just free shipping on the website. Use code, use code CHICKSTIGSCOOTERS um, and you can save some money with some free shipping. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Do whatever you gotta do. Peace out.